we're talking about the cardiac conduction system, you know, there's four major structures I want you to be familiar with. We're not going to go through all of the physiology in this video, but I'm just going to talk about where these structures are located and their, you know, relevant anatomical considerations. So the sinoatrial node, remember, this is where, you know, physiologically we're generating, spontaneously generating electrical impulses. It's located in the roof of the right atrium, superior right atrium. Where specifically am I talking about? I'm talking about somewhere in this region by the superior vena cava. Again, this is going to be the superior vena cava. You can see it right here. That's the superior vena cava. It's going to be in proximity to that, more towards the roof. That's where my impulse is going to start. Then the impulse is going to go to the atrioventricular node. Okay, so the AV node. And the AV node is essentially going to kind of slow that impulse so that I have a coordinated contraction with the atria first, then the ventricle. So it can help organize that contraction. The AV node is also located in the right atrium. And this is where it gets tricky because it's located more towards the interatrial septum. Okay, so it's between the two atria is where I'm going to have that AV node. Okay, so this is where, like I said, it's very tricky. The SA node and the AV node are both in the right atrium, but at different locations. One is more towards the roof, towards the superior vena cava. The other one is more towards the septum. And then we have the bundle of His, which is going to be uh, further distally. This is going to be in the membranous portion of the interventricular septum. Okay, and remember, why is that location important? Why is the membranous portion of the interventricular septum such a kind of medium high yield area? Because that's the area that's most commonly involved with a ventricular septal defect. And then the Purkinje fibers would be four here. So these are kind of the distal fibers. These fibers are going to be modified myocytes that are actually going into the left ventricle and the right ventricle. And um, there's also bundles like the right bundle branch, left bundle branch. I'll talk more about those in a future video, but I just want you to kind of get your bearings with the anatomy here. Now, one thing that I want to put in here, and this is not part of the cardiac conduction pathway, but it's something that gets kind of confusing. This location between the inferior vena cava, right? Here's the inferior vena cava, okay? So here's the lumen, and then here's the tricuspid valve. This area between them, that's where you're going to see the coronary sinus, which I'll talk about in a moment. And this area is actually also the area that we do ablations for atrial flutter. So it's a pretty important area. And again, it's between, so I'm going to put between the IVC, inferior vena cava, and the tricuspid valve. So that area is where the coronary sinus is located, and it's also the area where we do ablations for atrial flutter. Don't confuse that with the location for the sinoatrial node and the atrioventricular node. You got to keep all of these straight.